know the love exists. I seen it up close, and it was distant. Hi guys, my name is Natasha. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you for joining me. If you're a returning subscriber, you're the bomb. Um, today I just have a simple question. Okay, why do you keep having babies you can't afford? Hmm. Yes, someone is gonna get touched. Someone's gonna get offended. But it's a simple question. Why do you keep? Listen. Why do you keep? having kids you can't afford so today i'm not talking about the first child or maybe i'm not even talking about the second child that you can't afford because usually people will tell me um a child is a blessing from god um it was a mistake okay it was a mistake i understand people have um have sexual intercourse and they get pregnant you know because they don't use uh, uh condoms and you get pregnant by mistake of course, because you think, ah, no, pull-out game is strong. Okay, fine, that's understandable, first time. Or because the guy you fell in love with, he promised you heaven and earth. I don't know where you think we would stay if he promised you heaven and earth, but then that's okay, men are deceivers. <laughs> men are deceivers, so if he promised you the world, okay, that's understandable. Because... At first, it will seem like, no, he loves me genuinely. He's doing this and this for me. He's going to take care of my child. Fine. Second time. Really? And then the third time. How is that a mistake? Okay. Listen, now I'm not even going to be referring to the people, the older generation. Like, you know, people are 35 and 40s and who keep having... No. I'm talking about the young generation, us. Why are we so young? Unemployed, uneducated, and just un un un. We are just un like J. We are just helpless, and we are still putting burdens on ourselves. We are still burdening our parents. How are we not in school? Not in a job market? Not in a good environment to live in? And we are still having kids that we can't afford. Are, is it a competition? Are we trying to prove a point to somebody here, guys? Okay. Um, so like I said, I'm not going to talk about the, about the first child because first, okay, I, things happen fine. Second child, it depends, depends on who you are. Things happen again, but what it feels like it's now you, you find pleasure in bringing a child into poverty. Okay. We are not, everyone was brought in a good background in a like in a healthy background in a good home but then most of us who are barely surviving are having kids non-stop like we are just having kids like we are just trying to prove a point to nobody why do we keep doing that to ourselves you cannot be living in a shack with your mom maybe your dad also with your two other siblings and then you give birth to a child you're not working your mom is a general worker your dad is barely getting by his working pitch jobs you are not feeling sorry for your parents why do you keep doing that um okay you have that first child now it's okay it's a two-room shack and then you're all sharing you are barely getting by your mom is doing her best and then you have it the second child is that not having the liver like the audacity to be like why do you keep doing that to your parents okay it's obvious that you don't care about yourself you don't care about your future but then why must we stress our parents they came from a generation where they were not allowed to get into school they did not have good jobs so that's why we were brought in and we found the world like this why are you doing that to your own kids do you think do you think it's nice to be growing up in an environment where everything is just out of order, where we are begging for everything, begging for education, begging for the basic minimum? Do you enjoy that? Why do you want to bring that your children into that? First child, second child, third child. Why? And and usually when 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 we ask people these types of question why do you keep having kids you can't afford they become defensive they say you're being judgmental this is beyond judgment where is the common sense okay i understand common sense is not so common but then where is the logic like why do you think people are being judgmental because you know most of us would complain okay it's not our lives people will tell us no it's not your life you are not taking care of these kids you're not gonna raise them tax 
Do you think you, you you don't even have a job? You don't pay tax. So the who pays the tax? For you to go into that public hospital is because of the taxpayers' money. Okay, even if I work at even if I'm a cleaner and then I only earn four thousand. You see your kids, and I only earn three thousand rand, and my tax is only hundred rand. At the end of the day, I still pay tax so your kids can survive. You understand? So um. It doesn't make sense where you'll tell us, no, these are not your kids. You don't raise them. We pay tax or whoever pays tax, they pay tax so your kids could grow up. And that's not, that's not even cutting it. I want to even touch the subject of grant money. You know, some people used to think, ah, these girls are having kids because of grant money. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'll think that also, but then 350 is not a lot. It's not, it's not much. Why would you bring a whole human being for 350 rand? 350 rand, which you could just um, clean someone's house and you can get it. So, guys, let's not even use that excuse. So, um, my question still stands. Why do you keep having kids that you can't afford? Why are you stressing your parents? I'm talking for the parents here. If you don't love yourself, you don't care about yourself, you don't care about your, reput your reputation, why are you harassing kids? What? Why are you abusing your parents? Stop having kids you can't afford because you it's wrong. I don't even have to give many reasons. Okay? You see, so my point, my point is guys, stop having kids you can't afford. You can have kids, but then at least think for your parents, because they are the ones raising those kids. Think for your kids because they are the ones who are gonna grow up in that sad situation in a sad environment if you don't care about yourself think about other people around you because it takes a village to raise a child that child will not only be raised by you okay so just think about those things just think about what i said okay and please i know there is somebody who's gonna say so we mustn't have sexual intercourse because we are we are poor uh we mustn't have kids because we are we are poor that is not the point the point is stop having so many kids that you can't afford because you are inconveniencing a lot of people that is okay you can do do what you want at the end of the day you're going to do what you want but please just put some thought into it okay because at the end of the day, one day you'll be there sitting oh my life is a mess my ancestors this my ancestors that Guys, I know how we know how you think. You will start, you will blame everybody but yourself. We were not there when you were making such decisions, but everyone is gonna get blamed. Your even your poor ancestors who are resting in peace, they will be blamed. You understand? So let's just try to avoid things that are so unnecessary. My message is clear. I am not talking about kids who who are already born first born second born let's just not make it a habit of raising our kids in poverty not everyone is going to be a billionaire or a millionaire we're not all going to live in a fancy house in Bryanston or Santon or whatever but then let's all try to avoid keeping our kids in poverty okay as a deputy for all first born i'm speaking for them um the problem also with the parents that are having three, four, five kids at this moment is going to be a problem for the fir your first born child because you will be expecting her or him to bring you out of poverty. Imagine you're sitting there at a club drinking champagne and then it doesn't even go down your throat nicely because you have to buy your younger sibling school shoes or your your niece has uh, your your niece needs textbooks. Like it's also it's going it's going to be a burden for your kids soon enough. You will realize it, and then your your that is why your siblings, the kids, will be fighting when you're gone. When you have passed on, they will be fighting. Your older one doesn't want to help the kids, his younger siblings, his younger sisters, because of what you did, your decisions. No, you guys, you know, just make you know you when you do these things, think of the future. You look at my hair at the end. Yes. Anyways, guys, um, I hope you got the message. I hope I hope you learned something. Let's not make it a fight. We are all trying to advise each other, help each other. You know, you you sometimes you need a different kind of point of view from someone. You know, a different perspective, and that will really help you make better decisions in life. Anyways, if you have if you want to say something, you want to let me know how you feel about this. Drop your comments below. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Thank you for watching. I will.
speak to you next time when i see something spicy to share bye